All right, guys. I um, wanted to give a little commentary to this because this is a little bit complicated. So I thought I'd record my voice throughout the uh, video here. So we finally got a work functioning uh, targeting system with a camera lock feature that works a lot better and a lot easier than I initially expected it would, at least for today. Um, two days on it and I got it pretty much figured out in a way that I really enjoy. So what we have here is, um, which will be mapped to your um, right mouse button or your left trigger on your controller, like an aim function, is a focus mode, which focuses on your particular targets or enemies. So when you hit this, um, as you've seen in a previous video, um, an invisible um, an invisible marker will shoot forward and try and detect if it hits an enemy. If it hits an enemy, the camera will lock onto that position. If it doesn't hit an enemy, it locks forward. So either way, you are capable of going into this focus mode, which allows you to do directional based attacks. So what we're going to do later on in the development of this game is, depending on the direction of your camera stick or your mouse, whether it moves forward or to the side, will have directional base attack modif modifiers, which means if I'm looking upwards, um, instead of the camera moving, it will activate a special upward style attack that will be like a high stance attacking downward onto your opponent. Um, if you're off to the side, um, it will do a side base attack on the left, and if it's on the right side, it will do a right side base attack. So, um, for example, for the, this falchion setup I have, um, I'm going to have three directions, so if um, I'm looking upward or the input is showing upward, it's going to unlock a high attack. Um, if I am moving it to the right or uh, the direction away from my character's attacking arm here, it's going to do a side attack similar to this basic attack here, but a little bit modified. And then if it is moving to the left or towards where his shield is, it's actually going to do like a thrusting attack. So his arm is going to come in and then it's going to stab outward. So that's kind of the three attack modifier that it's going to apply um, when using focus mode. So to get it started, I'll show you how it works here. So we kind of got a, our target mac, uh, marked up in the middle here. And then when we hit it, you see a highlight on the bottom. This is a uh, rune symbol. It um, stands for Odin Spear. It's a nice little t uh, targeting symbol. I thought it fit the terminology. And as you can see here, my camera is now locked to the dummy target. This uh, dummy is an AI that has no real functions in it other than uh, it has an interface option that allows you to select it. Um, this is just for testing out this targeting system. So as uh, as you probably you can't really see, but um, I am moving my mouse around in a bunch of different directions, and it's not affecting the input at all because we are focusing on the target. Okay, so now we can attack from here. We can block here. Everything stays in line. We can jump. Everything stays where it's supposed to be, and now we can sprint. We sprint and then we uh, still snap back. So every button seems to work nice. We can do dodges. And of course, blocking. So those are all the main action mappings that I have set up so far. And again, we're going to do directional based um, modifiers to these attacks. Um, we also have a block attack. Um, I can't exactly remember which input that is, but it's similar to the, oh, it's the mouse click, right? So we can also stun them with a shield bash attack for this one. With um, other weapon variants, it'll look different, especially with two-handed weapons, but yeah. So this is all functioning. This is really working, and I'm really proud of this. And also with um, changing targets, we can do release, 
move over in there. And you got to make sure you grab them right on or else it doesn't highlight anything and it locks forward. So like if I'm looking this way, um, it goes based off of the direction of the character. Um, hmm. Okay, no, it's trying to snap to something. So there's still a bug here that I got to work out. But uh, we'll fix that. <laughs> okay, but yeah, this is the camera locking system. And it works for the most part. I got a small bug to fix, and we'll fix that. Okay, catch you guys later.